guys, this is CryptoCoin Investor. This is a tutorial video on how to use the Etherflyer exchange. So for those who do not know about this exchange, this is a decentralized exchange and it is made for trading Ethereum tokens. So we're talking about ERC20 tokens here. And um, this is this exchange is listed on CoinMarketCap. And recently they also added the ability to trade USDT tokens, but um, just keep in mind that USDT tokens are traded separately, not along with the Ethereum tokens. So, um, how to trade a token on an Etherflyer exchange and how to get started. So, this is how the website looks like right now. And these are the tokens that you can trade. So, we have many popular tokens here, which are listed on CoinMarketCap. Here you see the name, the last digit price. The, their price in the dollar, how much they have changed in 24 hours, what was the 24 hour high, what was the 24 hour low, and this is the volume. Okay, so we need to register our wallet first. Okay, for that, click on my account. So, you need to connect your wallet. As this is a complete decentralized exchange, you control your wallet you control the private keys of your wallet you can directly connect using your hardware wallet that is Trezor or ledger which is the safest way to do so you can also import your mnemonic phrase your private key or json file which you can obtain on my wallet or crypto dot my crypto dot com not crypto dot com it's my crypto dot com or you can start afresh by clicking on create so but the fastest way I think to do it by using MetaMask and this is also the e the most convenient way as well. So we are going to use we are going to connect using MetaMask in this tutorial. So what I'll be doing is I'll be clicking on connect. Now all I need to do is enter the verification go code which is one five zero zero five one. And I'll, then I'll click on import. And that is it. I am in. So this is what the exchange looks like and the UI, uh, UI is very similar to the Binance which is nice. So here you have your open orders, here you have the trade history. So this is the first time I'm using this exchange with this wallet. I do not have trade history. So this is a chart, by default you are shown a 2 hour chart but you can switch to 1 day chart as well. If you want to place an order, you must run for some Ethereum. See. The Ethereum won't be uh, usable until and unless you transfer it to the exchange wallet. The, the Ethereum is still in your wallet, but it is temporarily moved to the trading area of your wallet. So for that, what you should do is you should go to my assets. And then from here, you can transfer Ethereum. Click on hide zero balance. So now from here, we can deposit the Ethereum. Let's say you want to deposit. Um, uh, let's let's deposit 0 0.5 Ethereum. Slow, normal, fast, fast, and we'll go with the normal speed. Deposit. And now a MetaMask window is open, and then I am clicking on confirming in the MetaMask. Then you have to wait for a few seconds for a transaction to mine on the Ethereum blockchain. These are one of the demerits of the decentralization, but it is also a huge merit as you are in complete control of your funds. Even if the site goes down, you can still interact with the Ethereum contract and get your funds back. So you can click on view Ethereum progress to see. Now it, is, uh, it says that the 0.5 Ethereum wallet transferred from my wallet. But it takes some time for the exchange to process your funds you can click on history to see the progress it says executing spelling is wrong but yeah this exchange as far as i know is based in hong kong which explains some english spelling mistakes here and there so uh let's go back to the exchange so there are three boards here airdrop board where you have to complete a set of tasks and you'll get some token tasks in real like in like join uh 
the telegram of a particular project and so on. And then we have the main board where you find the quality tokens. In the next board, you will find the not so high quality tokens. These are riskier assets. Let's stick to main board. All right. So uh, let's say I will, while we are still waiting for the Ethereum to arrive here, let's pretend that we have 0.5 Ethereum. Okay. So if you this is the cell wall, the uh, the one in red represents the sell wall this represents the buy wall so if you want to place a limit buy order and you want to wait for someone to fulfill your order you have to put a price that is less than the current sell price so let's say i want to place an order here i'll click here then i can also edit it here if i want it to look a little different 6500 and then let's say we have 0.5 ethereum it says zero because i can't, i don't have any ethereum, actual ethereum but let's say if i had this place would have populated itself similar way once you have bought tcash which is the token we are buying here and then you have bought let's say thousands tcash for uh, maybe you have bought 10,000 tcash for 0.5 ethereum and then you want to sell it at a higher price and then you can place a limit sell order or if the buy orders have have uh, surpassed the price uh, your your bought your buying price you can simply uh, select the amount that you want to sell which in our case is ten thousand and then you'll set a sell price let's say eight five eight zero and then we will get 0.5 ethereum back now once you have got the ethereum back and you want to transfer it back to your main wallet all you have to do is again go to my assets and then again i have to click on high zero balance because we are still waiting for the funds to transfer let's say we have tcash here or or we have let's say we want to transfer ethereum back what we'll do is we will click on withdraw apply and then we'll enter the amount of ethereum which we have in our wallet which would be 0.85 ethereum if we are able to successfully sell it at a higher price and then we'll click on withdraw apply it's very easy not difficult at all this ex this exchange gives you full uh, control over your funds which is a great thing in a similar fashion if you want to transfer your the token that you just bought from the exchange wallet to your main wallet what you can do is t you can just find the token here which is which in our case is tcash you can then click on withdraw apply or if you want to if you bought it from somebody somewhere else and then you want to sell it here you have to again deposit it into the trading account and only then you can trade it you can click on the trade button here to start trading the token very easy and nice exchange i would say so um when you want to disconnect your wallet you can click on my wallet and then you can click on disconnect here just keep in mind that even if you have disconnected the wallet here and you still have fund in the trading account of your uh, wallet uh, the, your funds are still safe and their funds are still there all you need to do is again connect using your preferred way and you will again get your funds back so even if i disconnect and then i reconnect my funds are still in the trading wallet until unless i withdraw them by going into the my assets area so yeah that is how you trade on ether flyer there are also other features like staking rewards and so on but basically this is how you trade on this exchange so now that we have our half ethereum here i'll show you the entire process once again so if i want to just buy it immediately i'll click so we're here like 0.5 or let's say if we want to buy 0.1 ethereum worth and then I'll click on buy and this tcash will immediately be transferred to my account and 0.1 ethereum will be deducted from here in a similar fashion if I want to sell at even a higher price or if I want to sell immediately I will select one of the buy orders from here 
enter the amount that I want to sell and then click on sell and I will get Ethereum in return. Easy, very easy and takes few seconds. You can also choose from other languages, other support languages, English. I think this is Mandarin or Cantonese. I'm not sure because I'm not Chinese. And I think this is a Russian flag. So this is, this must be a Russian. B, Y, C, C, and K. I don't, I don't know how to read that, so whatever. All right, so this is how you trade on this exchange. Uh, this is a fast growing exchange and I love decentralized exchanges. There are so many exit scams out there that I really prefer these exchanges over decentralized ones. BDCF, um, do your own research while buying any coin from here because some of the coins do not have good liquidity but some do have. Some are some projects are growing at a very fast rate and it is uh, suggested to get onto some of these projects while they are still cheaper. Okay, so hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions regarding the Etherflyer exchange, let me know in the comment section below. Bye bye.